Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. And on this video, we're gonna look at how we can start to transition away from algebra tiles to something that we call a generic rectangle. But before we get to that topic, I wanna run through this example one more time of how we can start out with a sum of algebra tiles and construct the sides to form the product of this algebra tile set. So let's go ahead. Hopefully we remember from the previous videos that when I'm trying to figure out this left side or the height, all I need to do is grab some of these algebra tiles and see which of them is going to fit right along that side. And they gotta lock into place and that the side lengths here need to match up, right? I don't wanna throw the unit tile here because that does not match that side length of X. So hopefully we can see that on the left side here, we're going to have a side length of 2X plus two. On the bottom here, it looks like I'm gonna have to rotate these guys to have them fit on the bottom. But on the bottom, it looks like we're gonna have 3X plus four. Again, remembering that algebra tiles are just a way for us to examine this rectangle to figure out the sum to the product. Now let's go ahead and figure out and write this out so we can see it. So now that we have this set up, what we want to do is we want to again write out what we see as the sum and as the product. Now, remember for sum, all we have to do is just count up all of the algebra tiles that we see here in this original rectangle. Well, looking here at my x squared tiles, I see that we had six x squared tiles there. So I'm gonna write that out as six x squared. Then hopefully we could see up top here, we are going to have six x tiles, but down here we're also going to have eight x tiles. So together, right, we gotta make sure we add those two pieces together our sum would have a total of 14x. Now finally, looking up here in the top right corner, I can count out eight unit tiles. So I see that the final piece for our sum here is plus eight. So our sum, as it stands, for just the rectangle that we started with is 6x squared plus 14x plus eight. Now in our previous videos, we built that because we wanted to write out what our product was. Remember, product was just our sides. So looking here on the left side, I see that I have two X's here plus two of the unit tiles. So that shows me that that first side is two X plus two. Now, the bottom side here, right, the base of this rectangle, I see that we form that bottom by having three X's plus four of those unit tiles on the bottom. So our product here ends up being two X plus two times the quantity three X plus four. And let's recap just so we can remember that the sum and the product, they are equal. Those are just two different ways of representing the same set of algebra tiles. You can either count up the middle pieces that you started with, or you can find out the side lengths that make up that rectangle to form the product. Either way, those two expressions are equal to each other. Now what we want to do, or what our hope is, is that we can sort of get away from building these algebra tiles and instead start to look at something that we refer to as a generic rectangle. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and label this real quick as algebra tiles. So we can see this is how we were first using this. And our hope is that we'll be able to transition to something we call a generic rectangle. And a generic rectangle is literally made up of the algebra tiles, but now we're not actually going to physically use those tiles. 
So let me show you what I mean. Looking here, with the generic rectangle, we always start off with a rectangle. Pretty basic enough. Now, looking back here on the side of my algebra tile construction here, I see that I had a side of 2x plus 2. That is creating the left side of my generic rectangle. Now on the base, we saw that our base was 3x plus 4. Are we seeing that I'm just taking those dimensions from the algebra tiles and now I'm putting it on my generic rectangle here. Now since, since this left side is 2x plus 2 and those are two separate types of tiles, looking back here we had the x's and the unit tiles. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line going straight across to show that those are two different tiles being used. Same thing for the bottom. Right at the bottom we had 3x tiles and we had four of our unit tiles. I'm going to draw that going straight down to show that those were separate tiles. Now you might notice that we have these four empty spots in the middle. Where those four empty spots come from are the algebra tiles that we started off with in our original rectangle. And look what happens when I highlight to show what exactly this generic rectangle is coming from. So we can start to see that similarity. Do you, or, or hopefully you're starting to see that. On the left side here, we had two X tiles and three X tiles on the bottom. Well, when you have two X and three X, they form six X squared tiles. That's gonna be the same thing that we write here. Another way to think about it is two times three gives you the six. X times X gives you the X squared. Really what I'm doing is that for this little rectangle in here, I'm just multiplying these two sides, 2X and 3X, to form 6X squared. Same thing for the top. The top here has a side of 2. The bottom has a side of 3X. Well, if I have 2 times 3X, that forms a 6X, which is exactly what we had going on up here because the two unit tiles and the three X tiles form six X tiles. Hopefully we're starting to see that connection. Down here in the bottom right, my two X tiles on the side here and my four unit tiles on the bottom, together when you multiplied them, they formed eight X. And we can see that here, there were eight X tiles there. Last but not least, up here when we had two unit tiles up here in the top left, four unit tiles in the bottom right, when you multiplied them together, it formed a plus eight. So really, what I'm trying to show here is that algebra tiles are a nice way for us to introduce how to multiply these expressions out. But really our goal is, is that we wanna get towards a generic rectangle because a generic rectangle is a lot easier to use instead of building out all of these shapes with our algebra tiles. Looking at my generic rectangle, I still know my product. My product is still the sides. 2x plus 2 times 3x plus 4. Those two things didn't change. It's still the same product, and more importantly, the sum isn't changing, right? What's inside, counting up the tiles we see. Inside I see that there's a 6x squared plus 6x and 8x make 14x. And finally we have plus eight up here in the top. The sum for both of those examples didn't change. Again, our goal here is that we wanna start to transition away from algebra tiles and instead focus on generic rectangles. Really, generic rectangles are made from algebra tiles, but from now on we're gonna try our best to not use the algebra tiles and instead focus on creating a generic rectangle. 
All right, guys, in the next video, you'll see me go through in another example of how we can use a generic rectangle. I'll see you next time.